there's only 10 people. Alright, here we go. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mason Wood, and I'd like to tell you all about a company that I chose to speak about, which was AK Welding. Since I work for AK, um, I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and speak about them because I know most most information to know about AK. So, you can push enter on the keyboard if it. There you go. In welding, you need protection. Because this is a dangerous career. So, when you're playing with fire, it's probably the best that you cover up your whole skin. As you can see, there's a lot of smoke in this guy's face. Well, I just get that picture in the Click it to the right. The, it's the picture's there on your screen. There you go. Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll work. Protection is essential when you're in the fire. As you can see, this guy here, I don't know what paint he's doing, but he's got all this protection on. He's got his hood, his gloves, sleeves, apron, it looks like. May even have a respirator on. As you can see here, these guys are doing all types of welding. This guy here, he's got a literal fireball in his face. This one here, he's got sparks going in his face. So, from a little bit you need to know about welding. Most important, you need to know how to protect yourself. Because along with that, if you're going to make a lot of money in this career, you need to be able to go for a long time. To go a long time, you gotta be able to do it, show up to work every day. I want to tell you about what makes this career so dangerous and what you can do to help protect yourself in this career. So welding is a fabrication process that joins metals, usually metals or thermoplastics, or sorry, that joins materials, usually metals or thermoplastics by using high heat to melt the parts together and allowing them to cool, causing fusion. So why does welding cause sparks? The arc is drawn along the joint, both the tip of the electrode and the working material become liquid and fused together. At such high temperatures, the molten metal bubbles and spit, expelling a shower of incandescent droplets that are seen, that these are the sparks you see. So it's actually molten metal flying off the joint. So, what parts of the body are the most vulnerable? Your eyes and face are the most vulnerable. So here's a chart of your body part that's going to be vulnerable while welding. The equipment and an illustration of why you would wear that. So some of these you see are the helmet. Everybody's going to wear a helmet if you're going to weld. A respirator, jeans with no cuffs, and a heat resistant jacket, usually leather. Ear protection, insulated gloves, rubber sole, safety shoes, or a steel toe boot. So, in conclusion, welding is a dangerous occupation. When you're playing with heat and spatter, you gotta protect yourself. You can't get radiation in your eyes from the arc of flash, and it feels like somebody threw hot sand in your eyes. Trust me, I know. Um, your whole body can be exposed to the art. Since it is radi it causes radiation, you can literally change the color of your shirt in a day. OSHA has recommended you could eat for every part of the body. We covered that in the chart. And today, we went over why welding is so dangerous, what parts of the body are most vulnerable, and the PPE required for working at AK Welding. So most welders learn the danger, their vulnerability, and the need for protection when they catch on fire for the first time. I know I did. <laughs> You're right clicking. Am I right clicking? Mm hmm. Get the mouse upside down. These are my references. And that concludes my speech. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I did.